This video is brought to you by Official Fur Dog. How's it going guys? This is Wyatt with Marine Outdoors and today we're going to be going into a new series of videos which is going to be dog health. Um, more specifically dog gun health um, having to do with beagles and hounds. Um, as you guys know we have a beagle. She's almost, uh, believe it or not, two years now. And um, I've learned, we've learned a lot, especially with my wife being in the dog industry and stuff like that. We have uh, learned a lot on keeping up on them and stuff like that. And you guys have to keep up on your dog's health, especially when you're working on them, especially when they're hunting. Um, you know, their bodies are put up to the elements and stuff. And if you guys want good hunting dogs that are going to, you know, do well for you, you have to keep them in good health, at least in my opinion. Um, so anyways, we're going to get into the first important thing um, of dog health, and especially in gun dog health, and that's their feet. Um, they are on their feet all the time, right? And that's what they are running on all day. You may do a five mile line, but your dog's doing double that, um, if not more. Um, so they're on their feet way more than you, going through you know all different terrain, everything from rocks, to sand, you, know, you guys know, whatever your area is in, they're going through a lot. So the big thing that you want to do is paw bomb. Um, that is the first thing we're going to get into. It's the easiest thing, um, and pretty much all it is is chapstick for your dog's uh, paws, right? Your paw pad, their paw pads. We just use this uh, Esprit paw bomb. I really don't have a preference on anything. Um, you know, everything is pretty much the same, but it's up to you guys if you find. A product that you guys really like but the reason you do it is you know just like our hands and stuff their pads dry out and they crack and stuff like that and it hurts if their paws are cracking uh, or if you see those um, almost hair like you can it, it almost looks like their their paw pads are separating into hairs if you start seeing that that's bad sign that your uh, dog's paw pads are not in good health and paw bomb will um, will treat that. Other things that you'll see around down by the pads is in between the pads, there won't be much fur or redness. Your dog will be nipping at a lot. That means they're having some irritation there. That's something that paw bomb can fix and really help them out too. Now also, the reason why it's really important for gun dogs and hunting dogs like hounds and beagles and stuff to have their paw pads in good condition is they lose traction um, when they're dried out and not in good condition. We want our dogs, especially, you know, there's some, here in California we can't mountain lion hunt. But there's some mountain lion hunts that, especially like Utah and stuff that have crazy terrain. These dogs are growing up like stone cliffs after these cats and stuff like that. And if they don't have good pod pads, they're not gonna have good traction. It's not gonna help them out in that situation. And you know, the dog slips and stuff like that could lead to injury. That's what we're avoiding. You know, these dogs are our family, so keep on the paw pad health. Now it's really easy to apply this stuff. <clears throat> like I said, just like chapstick, okay? So you're just gonna take some out of your uh, finger. I'll roll some B-roll uh, uh, shot here so you guys can see the apply. But you're just gonna take some on your fingers and get more you know, than you need, right? You want some left on there and stuff and you're just gonna pop it on there, rub it in and everything like that, and rub it into each individual pad. Um, the middle one, the, um, the toes, and then even the pad um, up top above their, uh, kind of by their dew claw. So that's what you want to hit. It's going to keep them all nice and dry. It's going to keep their pads feeling, uh, feeling good, their feet feeling good, and it's going to keep their traction going and stuff. So that is everything on paw pads. Now we're going to move over into uh, nails and trimming nails and stuff like that. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about the nail portion of this video, um, and honestly I'm probably going to refer to my notes a little bit here, so forgive me, but there's a lot of info on dog's nails. Honestly, dog's nails affect the dog a lot. A lot of things can happen, um, and so that's why we're going to go over pretty much everything I can um, on these. So, the first thing, the reason to keep up and trim nails, um, especially keep them short and stuff like that, is once those nails get to a certain point, they get start getting too long. Your dog's toes and feet are going to start going, you know, going to start raising and then putting a bend in them. Okay, and so 
that's like causing a lot of pressure on their feet. So first, it's just gonna like ache their feet and stuff, they'll hurt more. But as that goes on and stuff, it's gonna lead to more permanent damage, tendon damage, um, you know, arthritis, swelling, stuff like that, and it can be really bad. So it's really important to keep it short. A lot of people honestly do not keep up on their dog's nail health, um, and it shows. Mostly, uh, most of the time their dog has arthritis, um, they're in pain, stuff like that. They have trouble walking, everything uh, under the sun pretty much, right? So, got to keep them short. The other reason to keep them short um, and just keep up on it right away since, since the start of the dog's life um, as it's a puppy and growing up is because if you continue to uh, religiously clip nails and just continuously do it, uh, and stay on top of it, what's going to happen is the quick is going to stay short. And what the quick is, is pretty much what's under our fingernails, right? I'll put a little diagram up here of where the quick, but that is what you don't want to hit when you're trimming nails. That's got the capillaries in it and stuff like that. That's pretty much what's uh, getting all the blood and nutrients to the nail so that it can grow. Um, and so if you clip that, it's going to be bleeding and stuff like that. That's what you want to avoid. And so, you want to clip just after the quick, okay? You want to keep that nail short. You want to keep uh, that clip short because if you don't, what's going to happen is it's going to grow longer and longer and longer, and then you're only going to be able to take off a certain amount of, of nail. And as that grows longer and longer, it may not be enough to, you know, to be fully satisfied um, for the health of the dog. So that's why you want to keep up. So, and I mean, that's with older dogs. Usually, you know, people who just like have never kept up on their dog's nails most of its life, have only trimmed them a few times maybe, um, and you'll see that their quips are really big. So you want to do all the nails on the dog's foot, but you also want to do, if your dog has one, the dew claw. A lot of people forget the dew claw. You'll see them, they'll get all like circle-ish and they'll get super sharp and everything and that's because people just forget to trim it and forget that it's there. Now Olive doesn't have any. Um, some dogs, beagles and hounds, most of them, if they're from a good breeder and stuff, will have their dew claws um, removed because it's not like it makes the breed. Some breeds require their dew claw in um, for them to be that breed. Um, you know, people get all crazy about dogs, so <laughs> that's, that's the way it is. Um, so that is pretty much the first little part. Now if you do hit the quick um, by accident or something like that, it happens, you know, um, home remedy is just flour. Put flour on it to help stop the bleeding. But they also have stuff called like quick stop and stuff like that that helps stop the bleeding and everything. You guys can look at some products if you like. But honestly, we never really hit them. And if we do, we just throw some flour on it. And that's only happened a few times. Okay, so there's two ways you can uh, trim the nails. You can go the uh, you know the cheap way and get the nail clippers. It's just uh, pretty much pliers with two sharpened hooks on the inside, almost like the back of a skinning knife, you know? So you just take that and you, like I said, you want to go just a little bit after that quip so you don't hit it, of course, but you want to go as short as possible. So then you just clip it off. They'll have some, I'll have some footage here of us doing it. Olive is not a super spectacular nail dog. She doesn't really like it getting clipped, so it takes a few tries to get her all her feet done. But the other way to do it, if uh, Olive was a little bit better and she wasn't so afraid of it, uh, we would use it, is the Dremel. Um, you know, with the sandpaper bit, higher grit, um, and stuff like that. You don't want to do like some like 40 grit or something like that, su something super rough. But take that one. What's that going to do is, as you're dremeling it down, you're rounding it. And rounding it is a little bit better than just clipping them off. But you know, most dogs are not like super friendly with the Dremel, so this is probably what you're going to get away with, and you know, we do the best we can. So that is pretty much everything on nails, everything on paw bomb, and everything pretty much about the feet, the basics, um, get you guys going. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as you guys know, thank you uh, Fur Dog for sponsoring this video, supporting us. We really like them. Go check them out if you guys want to get on some hound hunts or just want to see some cool hound hunt videos. Go check them out on Instagram at official fur dog so i hope you guys stay tuned for other videos we're going to be doing a lot more on beagle and hound health and we will see you guys next time